Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. Today my friends, I'm gonna be testing the GeForce GTX 580. This is not the RX 580, okay? This is a, an Nvidia card from 2011 and many of you mistake this for the RX 580. I've already tested the AMD RX 580 in another video, of course, uh, and this one is, of course, testing the GTX 580, okay? <laughs> I feel like I will still have a comment saying that the RX 580 is underperforming in this video, but anyways... <laughs> I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X, of course, and 16 gigs of RAM, and we're gonna be playing, of course, GTA 5. By the way, if you do have something like a Core 2 Quad or like a second Gen i5, you won't be seeing the same FPS as in this video, okay? To achieve the same FPS that we're about to see in this video, you will need something like a 4th Gen i5 or a 3rd Gen i5, slightly overclocked maybe. Okay, anyways, we're playing here at 1920x1080 to start off the video. I'm not really sure if I should test more uh, resolutions or more settings in this one because I haven't tested the GTX 580 yet here in GTA, so I don't really know what to expect. Right now, I set everything to the high settings and some things are, of course, on the normal settings like post effects which I don't like personally it introduces motion blur even if the slider over here is set to the minimum and uh, as you can see right here these two are also set to normal but everything else is set to high I would say that these are medium settings but since the game says it's high I will call it high settings uh, of course the normal settings in this game is actually low settings because it's the lowest advanced settings are all turned off as usual and let's see how the uh, uh, GTX 580 does here in GTA 5 so we might actually experience a couple of stutters here and there because of course we only have 1.5 gigabytes of VRAM in this GPU and the game said it would utilize like 2 gigabytes with these settings that we're using right now so let's just see if it runs well or not so far so good actually and guys I remember playing this game with the GTX 550 Ti and that one was getting pretty decent FPS at normal settings 1080p and I actually tested uh, three resolutions 1080, 900 and 720p and in this one since it's performing so well at 90 FPS right now which is insane for a nine year old GPU of course GTA 5 came out in 2013 on consoles and 2015 on PC but these are still pretty decent results for a GPU this old and you can of course grab one of these for like 20 bucks or something like that at least I got mine for 20 euros here in Portugal in a local deal and let's try to not hit anybody here because uh, otherwise this video will probably not get as many uh, many <laughs> anyways friends uh, so far so good we got 1% lows of 56 uh, and I didn't really see our FPS dropping that much so that might be like some micro stuttering issues but I am not really experiencing any stuttering at least so far you know so this is totally fine if you want to play GTA 5 on high settings uh, you can play it just fine on a GTX 580 and it's pretty impressive actually I think so at least we got an 88 FPS on average I think we could even do like 1440p but I can't really test 1440p with these GPUs because I'm re I'm recording with a capture card my friends and the capture card doesn't support higher resolutions than uh, 1080p so I am stuck at 1080p and over here it's the most demanding area in the entire game well not in the entire game but at least in our benchmark run because of the vegetation it's really really intensive on the GPU and it shows we're getting down in to the 50s it's obviously still a very good experience and you should definitely play GTA 5 on high settings if you have a GTX 580 I am not really expecting many of you to have a GPU like this but if you do if you're still hanging into your GTX 580 well it does a pretty good job doesn't it guys uh, how many of you were expecting a, an almost 10 year old GPU to perform like this in GTA 5 of course GTA 5 is kind of old at this point but still these are are impressive results for a GPU like this one and well guys I guess this is it this actually surpassed my expectations a little bit I was kind of expecting like around 60 maybe 70 FPS what the heck is going on with my car right now <laughs> Okay, okay, it's the it's the tire. I think the tire is just broken. But anyways Yeah, I was kind of expecting 60 to 70 FPS here at these settings and uh, It did 79. That's pretty damn good. 
All right, everybody, after a fresh restart, we're now here playing at the very high settings, I will say. 1080p resolution, 2.5 gigabytes of VRAM utilization right there. The game says it will use that much, but of course, we only have 1.5 gigabytes of it. Uh, it will be fun, guys. It will be very, very fun. Uh, FXAA is enabled. MSAA is disabled. I'm not going to use that in this video. I think it just kills your FPS in this game, so leave it disabled if you don't have a screen with very low PPM and everything else over here is kind of maxed out except for the grass the grass the grass quality right here which is set to very high instead of ultra uh, grass is really really intensive and it looks pretty much the same on very high and ultra so just leave it at very high uh, softest shadows instead of nvidia pcss post effects is of course on normal because i want to avoid motion blur i don't like it at all and everything else over here is set to very high and here on the advanced settings of course everything is turned off so these are the very high settings okay let's start counting our fps we got a little stutter already when i turned the camera around but everything is okay so far and we are now below 60 fps okay that's that's still not too bad you know the game is still kind of playable here perfectly if it doesn't stutter too much i would say that if you want to play like this with a controller or something it's actually a very enjoyable experience guys and uh, of course i don't really recommend the gtx 580 guys okay that's that's not what I'm saying, I'm just surprised that it's running so well here. But yeah, unless you have something like a GT710 and a good power supply and you want a very cheap upgrade, I wouldn't recommend this card, okay? Because it consumes 230 or 240 watts of power, something like that. So it's very power hungry and for the performance you get, like these are, oh my gosh, god damn it, it's actually stuttering quite a bit, guys. But yeah, this kind of performance is the same as what a GTX 950 maybe a little bit slower than a 950 actually so that's kind of underwhelming for 240 uh, watts of power you know the 950 consumes 90 so uh, that's a much better deal even if you have to spend another like 20 bucks or something um, but of course, if you are looking for an upgrade here to play GTA 5 with, I definitely recommend the RX 470 or maybe a GTX 970. Those are very strong GPUs here in 2020 and they are definitely capable of running the latest titles on medium to high settings at 60 FPS at 1080p. So that's very impressive and there's another big stutter there. So no need to go out and buy a GTX 580 in my opinion. Okay, guys. Of of course it's cheap and all but unless you're a collector like me um yeah don't bother <laughs> this is a very nice car guys i will take a thumbnail with it if i don't wreck it all here in this parking lot okay i actually guys i'm not gonna jump there because otherwise i will actually wreck my car completely and it's now getting 40s as we approach that area right there so you know what this is still very respectable for a gpu like this another that are there of course those are to be expected we already talked about it but yeah these are very respectable fps for a gpu uh, from 2010 and uh, i definitely am kind of surprised uh, now it's dropping into the 30s which is still not too bad again if you want a console like experience you can have it here hi jack how you doing talk to me buddy buddy oh yeah there he is okay <laughs> Anyways, if you want a console-like experience, yeah, this is actually it. And it is not too bad, guys. 32, 31, 30. Uh, can we make it drop from 30, actually? I'm just, I'm gonna try. Motion sickness, guys, don't watch now. All right, it doesn't drop from 30 like this. You can watch again. Let's go, guys. <laughs> All right. This is very impressive. 1% lows are at 29, but I've only seen it drop for, uh, to like 30, flat 30 FPS. So impressive results again here for a GTX 580. I honestly, if you are looking for a very high visual fidelity kind of experience here, this is not bad, you know, this is 
pretty good performance for a GPU like this. Again, I am impressed, guys. I am always impressed when I test the GTX 580. I only spent 20 bucks on it and it can actually do wonders in a lot of games. So far, Rainbow Six Siege, I think, is the game that impressed me the most in this GPU, actually. So, yeah, go check that out if you haven't already. Links down below in the description for the playlist of this GPU. And keep tuned in for more. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and like if you uh, enjoyed the... Yes, again. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you so much for watching once again. And I love you all. Bye bye